All right. Once again, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Bukha, Kodash. The blood has been to the apostles and here is a great millstone. To all the Akims worldwide, I want to say Shalom be unto you. This is the word from the GM Australia that camp. Just by a quick identification, three spirits and the power of the Musa, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai. So my edification is entitled, Why Always Adultery? Why Always Adultery? Because you know, when you, um, when you look two times, you have seen that the woman has played an important role in the downfall of great men. And great men has used women as their means of being destroyed. And it was it would would have always been adultery. And even in this present time, adultery is one of the biggest ways that a lot of men would have been kicked. A lot of men fall short because of the loss of the woman, the loss of the flesh, the pussy. You know, they they can't control their self for these things. And it's a it's a shame because it's ever a battle. And most of the times it will be not even a, a stranger wife, but your own brother wife you're lost in over. You're watching your brother wife and you you know, trying to seize the opportunity. And you know, that that's a wicked that's a wicked thing. That's a wicked thing that should not be in Israel. And even if it were and was and is in Israel, hey, you might have to be destroyed, you know, because that's a wicked thing. Why would you watch at another man wife who he sleeps, he ejaculates in, he, he, he controls, you know? He do whatever he wants with that woman, but then you want to be with that woman as well? Yo, that's a, that's a wicked spirit. You know, that has nothing to do with righteousness of the Most High of Hashem Hashem. That's uncleanness, that's confusion. A man went into a woman, he chocolate into she, and you lost him to go into she after he chocolate into she the same way. Like, what the fuck is that? They started with um, Exodus chapter 20 and verse 14. It says, Thou shalt not commit adultery. What, what is adultery? Apparently, like some man doesn't know what adultery is. If a man have a possession, a wife, a concubine, a fuck buddy, and you want to go have sex with that woman, that's adultery. Yo, it has so many, it has so many, even in Israel, that you could go and choose. Why you put your eye on your brother wife? Why you put your eye on another man's possession to, to try and control that? You know? If you fall in short, as falling short of the glory of the Bosa Vashemeshai. And not just having an eye for not just having sex with another man wife will be counted as adultery. But as well uh, Matthew chapter five and verse twenty eight. But I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her had committed adultery with her already in his heart. So, once you, I connect with another man, wife, a woman, whoever, man, wherever it may be, you can break it down however you want. And you, at that moment, lusted over her. You already committed adultery. You already fall short. You already sinned. You already walking down the path of destruction. And the most I have Hashem Hashem, I will meet you along the way and deal with you. You know? But it's about time that brothers wake up out of this adultery, slumber, spirit, lusting. Because we know that this world ever getting more wicked and wicked. It's not going to get any better. You have to keep on building stronger and stronger. Because these women will be coming out with these spirits for you.
Sex is a chapter 20 and verse 14, you know? It's like you're speaking the same thing over and over for years, so you wicked niggas. You wicked men who just adamant on being a, a adulterous spirit. I mean, already a adulterous generation to you have a shy. You have a shy. shy. Now you want to just be a adulterous spirit in your flesh as well. Yo, you have a shy for shy forbid. You know? Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 10. It says, And the man that committed adultery with another man's wife, even he that committed adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall be put to death. So the man and the woman. Most of the time, it's really woman enticing the man as well. The man falls short, but you know what? Both of you have to be put to death. Both of you have to be separated from the camp. Both of you should no longer be part of this fold. Because it's a shame. It's a shame in as well. Because yo, you can't, every two, every two steps you turn, you will see a Eve. And right now, the way all the most have actually wish I turn and shut up, ain't niggas dying every day. Dying more than women, so there's more women being left behind than men. So there are lots of women out there that, that, that are available. But why your eye will be fixed on your brother's wife? Why your eye will be fixed on your brother's possession? It's only because you hate your brother that you reach that point. How do we hate? Now, if you love your brother, like how you love the Lord, that have actually wish I. And you will have been yourself and being caught in that, 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 that folly. You know? Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 22. Say, if a man be found lying with a woman married to an husband, then they both, then they shall both of them then they shall both of them die, both the man falling with the woman and the woman. So shall thou put away the evil from Israel. You know? And that evil ought to be put away, especially from the camp itself. Whether the man went and enticed the woman, whether the woman enticed the man first. If both of them be caught in it, they both of them so be put to death. That's the Lord have a shame and shy. You know, get a woman away from you. These women are wicked, and these men are wicked too. Because we should be a glory unto the most of our shame and shy. But then you're trying to glorify yourself with your dick and another man's wife. You're all low you could go. So we have chapter 6 and verse 32. It says, But whoso committed adultery with a woman lacketh understanding. He that do it, it destroyed his own soul because his own soul is going to destroy. Right, we know the woman is a weaker vessel. We know if you, work, you talk too much on another man, wife, or whatever, at the right point at the right time, you might get you. But in getting you, you're putting a wine on the clock. Because you will be destroyed. Yeah, you might get to pay a dick and on a man wife. But in the long run, you'll be destroyed. That's the Lord of Abashim Mishai. Hebrews 13. And verse 4. It says, Marriage is honorable to all. And a bed on the file. But who among us and adulterous, how Bashemay Shai will judge? And how are you gonna be judged? If you don't get taken out, the nuclear missiles will take you. Yeah, well, Shai will take you out. You know? First Corinthians 6 and verse 18. Flee fornication. Flee from watching another man's wife. Flee from touching another man's wife. 
they form wicked conversations with another man's wife. Every sin that a man do it is without the body, but he that committed fornication sinned against his own soul, his own body. Yo, you a man jaculating your wife? You lost in the put your mouth on a man, wife, vagina. Pussy. To do what? Kind of wickedness is that in Israel? These things should not be in Israel. You wicked fucking niggas should be destroyed. That's what the Lord of Hashem is Can you begin shame? First Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 13. They had no temptation taken you by but such as is common to man. But power is faithful. He will not suffer you to be tempted. Above that he are able. But will with the temptation also make a way to escape that he may be able to bear it. And that's the thing. The truth is a battle constantly. And if you had to be a, 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 a sleazy ass, sleazeball, weak ass, faggot ass nigga, that every fucking pussy pass, you just can't control yourself. You know, you just lost in like a fucking goat or a sheep just want to break all over the place. You have no control over yourself. You in escape, when you try to escape, you just running in. Yo, your Abashi Misha, you destroy you. Especially you men in the street with that shit. Because you even trying to pop a fight. And for you to go around another man, why for that in the truth? You know for sure you ain't paid them no kind of fucking fight at all. Hey, but nevertheless, the most Abashi Misha. Is in control and all you pretenders will be destroyed. That's the Lord of Abashim and Shai. So, you know what? With that, I want to give all praises and glory unto the Musa of Abashim and Shai. Yeah, double and as be until the apostles and he has a great man's stone. To all the Akims worldwide, I'm pushing the shoot into the cell. See, he stay strong, he soon go home. He shall warm, shall warm to the lake. Shall warm.